Today we're gonna see how hotkeys works on Clio 2.0. First of all, we're gonna active hotkeys. It's this little button on the toolbar on viewport. So I'm gonna click on it. And clicking on it, it's gonna activate all commands by uh, our keyboard. So to make an example, I'm gonna select that face. And I can change by points, edge, face, and object selection with the keyboard with my numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So when I click 1, it's going to change to point selection mode. If I click 2, it's going to change to edge uh, selection mode. Click on 3, it's going to change by face. And clicking 4, it's going to select by object. Okay. At this point, we can also change the gambles with our keyboard. So for example, I'm going to click on 3 again to select faces. I'm going to select the face. And I'm going to swap my gumball with W, E, and R. So just clicking on those keys on my keyboard, it's going to swap the gumball. To check where all commands shortcuts for our hotkeys are, we can click on this small button, hotkey settings, on our subdivision tab. Just click on it, and it's going to appear a little panel. On this panel, we have all the commands with all shortcuts and the shift or control modifier. We also have all the sculpting uh, commands. So for example, imagine that I just load a box, for example. So I can go to clay box, that one, and I'm gonna say, okay, box start with B, so I'm gonna set the shortcut B for box. When I click B, it appears an, an alert message that says that hotkeys B is being used for clay bridge. So please select another one. So, okay, I can't use B, but for example, I can use Shift, so I'm going to active the, the checkbox, and I'm going to type B again. So now I have Shift B to create a clay box. I'm going to validate that. I'm going to get rid of the torus, and I'm going to use my keyboard to type Shift B. And it's going to run automatically the common clay box. We can change any hotkeys on the list, or we can just use it for check it out what's the shortcut for the commands that we want to use. That's so useful, because we're going to improve our speed modeling with hotkeys.